Tokyo, episode two. We're gonna go around the Japanese convenience stores. I'm gonna show you what's what, what to buy, what not to buy, what to drink from your booze professional. Let's go. So convenience store number one is the Mighty Lawson, one of the big three. So we have 7-Eleven, Family Mart, Lawson, okay? All have different boozes. In fact, all different stores have different boo boozes, like a selection box, like Christmas, every convenience store. This is my local one. It's usually shit, but let's check it out. Lawson. The more aggressive of the convenience store. Hello. Hi. Yeah. What do you think of Lawson? Lawson has really good uh, rice balls. Rice balls? <laughs> we're not interested in rice balls. We're interested in the boozy section. Ah. Here we go. Booze fans. Stop one on our booze tour of the convenience stores. Here's the beer section. See, we have the beer. We're here. We're queer. We're drinking all the beer. Sours. Kind of like cocktails. We'll get to that in another episode. For the alcoholics. Strong. Very, very strong. Don't want to go there on a Monday. But here we go. Beers, me dears. What have we got here? Lawson. Eh. One fridge selection. Not so good, not so good. One fridge selection. So we got a walk through. Walk through. Hello. We got, uh, we got premium. Premium Japanese boozes. Beers. Like your yeah, Sapporos. Your Sarties. Your Kirins. It hasn't even got a premium mold. Yes, it does. It's here. And we've got a few foreign beers around here. Budweiser, Corona, yuck. Yeah. Solid one out of five. But, when in doubt, this is not a bad one. Classic Kirin Lager. It's not a bad one. But, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you some of my favourites. We go straight, we go straight for it. The Sapporo, ne? Sapporo, what do you think of Sapporo though? Um, tastes like any other beer. Alright, not a fan, not a fan. I'm a big fan. <laughs> My favourite of the premium beers, Boom, the Black Label. Yeah, we got got uh, premiums. You come down here, you got the fake. The fake beers, Haposhi beers, right? They're like, uh, they're made with like cardboard and uh, dinosaurs to taste like beer, but they're not really, but they're cheap. And they'll give you a banging hang hangover. Banging hangover. Look at this bad boy, what's this? Oh my days, the gold master. Beer-like alcoholic beverage. Beer-like, like what? Oh, I like my nightmares. Never seen that one before. Beers. Saison, Boku beer, Kimi beer, I'm beer, your beer, Frog beer. Frog beer. All right. ah! But booze fans, stay away from this because no alcohol, all free of taste and booze. Disgraceful. There. Lawson, meet me in a minute. We have Combini booze. Number one, solid five out of five, this one, on the Tipsy Tokyo scale. Tipsy Tokyo? Tipsy Tokyo. Yeah, five out of five, Sapporo, you can't go wrong. That was a terrible Lawson, but what can you do? We've still got a solid Sapporo. Mask off, Corona's over, glasses off. This is Sailor Moon, big boom. Yeah. So you have your beer from the convenience store. Where do you drink it, booze fans? Well, you got two options. You got two options. You got the car park, which is 
A-OK -okay in Japan, you just drink wherever the hell you like. Do like a car park, especially at night. But there's another option, option two. They have a little cafe. They have a, they have a little cafe in some of these convenience stores. Yeah, which strictly say no booze. Do not booze in the Combini Cafe, but I say show me the rules. Show me the rule book. There is none. Let's go. Well, booze fans, Lawson done. Sapporo down in the belly. Convenience store number two, Family Mart. You never know what you're gonna get. I'm gonna get a chicky. Oh yeah, yeah. I do enjoy their hand-drawn signs. <laughs> and look at the size of that burger. <laughs> Family chicken and uh, scrambled egg. Oh, Star, not boots. Ah, family mart. So we have premiums as before. They got a couple of different ones though. Ah, the hot. That could be good. That could be good. Ah, Asahi the double. Oh, Dave. This one. My little boots fans. This one, the double. It's trying to get through, I think. I don't know. This one, booze fans, is, would you believe it, Pilsner and Ale, mixed, bashed into a pot, pissed out, and that's what you get. Remember that one, Traveller? I have beer hole. Traveller, of course. Fake beers, very cheap beers. So it goes from the creams, they're about, what are they, 310 yen, about three dollars. Right, down to the bad boys, down here. Do your clear, oh shit, your clear malts. Ooh wee! Low carb, beer like, alcoholic beverage. Give me a drink. Oh, baby. Hello, new dream. What's your dream? <laughs> Mine is to get pissed in a park. Kuriya Asahi. I am interested in this, the hog. Why don't you try that? Yeah. It is a new one. I'm gonna try it. For your information, <laughs> Booth fans, this is probably my favourite out of all of them right now. And then they've recently made their can shinier. Added bonus. Shiny can. Ah, hot. The happy. Here we go. The hop, it's a, it's a Kirin. A rich flavour, brewed for your good time. And I do like good times. Sounds like a deal. Oh, uh, family, this family, not all family marts, this family mart has the best dog post thingy. Dog post reviews, new Come YouTube on. channel. See? Oh. It's more secure. Lawson's not so good. <laughs> See, convenience store booze seating. It varies from place to place. Now, like, you have to get creative, but you can see here they've made a ready made booze seat for me. Fantastic. Nobody's gonna mess with you, nah. Alright, the hot. Fruity. Fruity. What does it taste like compared to another beer? Ooh, kind of a bit cidery. Is it? Would I would I like it? Oh, oh, oh challenge accepted. Well, he told me loves her cider but hates beer, so this is a fruity one. It is, yeah. It's a fruity one, right? It's still more beer than I like. Too much beer? Yeah. Oh, what can you do? Central fried chicken goods. Tommy's gonna get run over. 
Move. All right, food stop number three. Maybe the most famous of them all. 7-Eleven. You might have it in your country, 7-Eleven. It's a lost puppy, Pochicha. Booze. Booze time. There's a softcore porn in the uh, comic section. Yeah. Don't stand and read. This is actually quite a big 7-Eleven. Uh-huh. Ah, they got me. Looks like a premium European lager. It's booze free. It's perfect for you. Yeah, but I still don't like the taste. 7 Eleven do their own beer. This is like the cheapest shit you can buy. It's actually by Suntory with 7 Eleven. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all for 125 yen. But, ah, uh ha! -huh. Ebisu is always a winner. It's a pre premium beer, right? Look at this shiny bad boy. Booze <laughs> fans, look at this. Looks like a coffee, but what is it? It's actually a... Uh, it a coffee can. It's a lemon, lemon booze. Look at it. Coffee, booze. No one would know on the train. Red wine from a pouch, sir. Don't mind if I do. 7-Eleven car by the bins on the terraces. It's like being back at the football. Now, the turquoise Ebisu is uh, exclusive to 7-Eleven. And I feel like I've had it before somewhere in a drunken stupor. I do not condone reckless drinking in Tipsy Tokyo. Tipsy Tokyo. So this one, very nice beer indeed. I'd say that this is Oh, my rating scale is going from like fives to tens today, <laughs> but I'd say that this, this is a solid nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Okay. I'd put this on par with like a super dry, Asahi super dry. Uh, tell me what you think. What do you think? That's not harsh. I would drink it. Well, that's a pretty good review. Yeah. It's not harsh. I would drink it. <laughs> a pinch. Under threat of the <laughs> Taliban. <laughs> hey. Where are we now, love? Daily Yamazaki. Bonus. It's not one of the big three convenience stores. They're more of a bread maker. Actually, where we live is home to this convenience store. It's a local. It's my local. Tabago. Double beer fridge. What is this? Draft one. Super cheap beer made by Sapporo. I've never sure seen that. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that either. Draft one. Good taste. Good size. Good time. Really plastered the size on there. 330. Look at this. They do the old uh, bin beer. Bin beer. The bottles. That is quite a rare find in the convenience store. Oh, oh, oh. It's six packs as well. Oh, baby. This is a gem. Oh, check that out. Look at that. It's a liter of uh, lemon sour. 7%. You buy one of these, 600 yen, get absolutely wanked. But of course, we're tipsy Tokyo, we're not wanking Tokyo. Tipsy Tokyo no, you have medium. Oh. That's for your lunch break, right? <laughs> With your lunch when you're working in the office. Medium super dry. But in between an argument with the wife, crack a tiny one. I look like a giant. <laughs> I look like a bloody giant. <laughs> it's a shot of beer. It's a shot of beer. Shot of beer. Do you want to? Tell me, style free? Ah, uh, no. 
Okay. I am full of style. Alright, do you wanna uh, you wanna asahi off? It Fuck can off. asahi off itself. Uh, <laughs> right itself, it writes itself. We got the draft one. We got a bread. Are we happy? I got pie cake. Give this one a try, folks. What does it say on the can? Uh, no? It's a no? That's a one out of ten. Can I see what's on the can? It says something. Well, there you go. Uh, good taste, good size. <laughs> Sharp and clean. <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No? I think this one was discontinued a long time ago. Oh, that's like water with a splash of... splash of turpentine. Not the best. I mean, you don't have to drink it all. But it's Tipsy Tokyo, we have to drink it all, don't we? Nah. I think we did. <laughs> I think, well, you gotta give it, give it a taste test. Uh -huh. Yeah, you do. You might like it, it's like really weak. Uh, Verdict. Like, the, the smell went up my nose. Out of all the beers, I like the um, cidery one. Ah, uh, the hop. Yeah. Sahi hop? Kirin hop. The hop. Oh. As you can see, the seating, the booze seating outside Kambini just explodes. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, can you get any, any better than this? Random rocks. Bike. Abandoned bicycle and rocks. Living the dream. Tipsy Tokyo. Tipsy Tokyo. We're at Family Mart number two, right? Because I want, want to see the differences between the convenience store. Got a bit of Fonzie right there. The differences. This one looks like a big boy. Family Chicky <laughs> Barbie. <laughs> wow. Porn. This one, folks, is the worst beer in Japan. Zero out of ten Tipsy Tokyo rated. Dear clear, do not try. Burn my hands. This one. Ah. Not so easy to find, this one. The old, uh, yeah, Sapporo Extra Mold. Yeah, black label still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a premium. It's not like the last one. Yeah. It's a premium. Booze bench! Booze bench! Shaking this up. <laughs> For the perfect first touch. You got the touch. Sounds like a pedophile's dream. Have you tried that before? I have. Oh. It's a winner. It's a clear winner. It's a. Uh, I'd give it an 8 out, eight out of 10. 8 out of 10, Tipsy Tokyo points, we're on a point system now, <laughs> just changes every time, but yeah, that's uh, I like the, uh, design. the design, that's my favourite. Yeah, it's really cool, right? Yeah. That one. It looks like it'd be tasty. Mm. It's actually, um, it's actually like a dark beer, like a stout, kind of a stout rip-off. It's really nice, I do, I do like this one. It's too strong, it's too beery for me. Yeah, it's like a heavy stout. Yeah. It's too beery. Too much beer. Oh dear. <laughs> right, mini stop, not one of the big three. Right, quite a rare boy. Rare boy. Right. Not sure what we're gonna find in here. Oh, look. Let's hear what we got. Now what what are we on? Convenient number. Five. Number 
five. Yeah. Two Family Mart, 7 Eleven, Daily Yamazaki mini stop. Definitely Tipsy Tokyo. Oh, as we can see, straight away, displays of the booze. The old uh, Jim Beam Highball, sweet from Centauri. Good times. Ah, what does that mean? This is booze. This is bold and the super cheap. Oh my days! This is look at this six pack, six pack for 528 yen, like five bucks. Not bad at all. We'll get to all of this sort of thing, folks. Don't you worry. That's another situation. Right. This guy's loading up like a fiend. Uh, Asahi the Rich? Asahi the Rich. Okay. Not so good in the mini stock. Wouldn't recommend. Only if you want to buy the premium stuff, which I do. So I'm a premium boy. So we'll go with the premium malts. Which is always, always a solid 10 out of 10. We do want this though, mini stock <laughs> clock. Oh, baby. Right. I think we're going thrown out, but yeah. Uh, another time, another time. Tell me, yes? stop, stop eyeing up the booze. <laughs> Look at this though. Look at this. Like no effort booze. Look, 20% uh, booze France. White Horse in the UK is tramp juice, right? For homeless people. Here, it's premium, it's premium quality. Uh, <laughs> we have the premium malts, and this is what it's like living in Japan. Blasting around, getting tipsy on the beers outside the convenience stores. Kampai! Kampai love! Kampai! Kampai! Kampai. 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 Kampai.